Now, if we think about the m value, there is another very important assumption in this case. Okay. Now, uh, the, the thing is the different m value, uh, what is the m value actually? m value is the changes uh, can, uh, which can be used to understand the nature of the denatured state. Okay, so uh, that means the different m value related to the difference between the number of molecules of solvent bound in its negative native versus denatured state. Uh, since uh, uh, since of the folded state we have similar structure, the number of solvent molecules bound to the folded state is about the same. Okay, that reveals something extraordinary. Let me simplify this for you. The M value is actually telling us the number of amino acid residues which are free, which are denatured or which are free, okay, uh, in a simplified form. Now, if we think uh, the, the structure uh, like this, this is a primary structure of a protein, which is a amino acid interactions via the hydrogen bond, uh, via peptide bonding. Then we suddenly, uh, then after all this, we are having uh, the, the 3D structure of the protein, which is a properly folded protein structure. Now if we think about this protein structure at uh, the water, uh, so if we put this protein, if we put this uh, fully formed protein in, in into the uh, solvent in the water, then uh, this protein is going to interact with water molecules and we can also put this primary structure of the protein into water. They can also, go, uh, they are also going to interact with the water molecules in the, in the environment. Uh, but by looking at this graph we can actually say that uh, that by, by our actual practical knowledge we can say that uh, when the protein structure is long uh, in, in their primary structural arrangement they can interact with much more water solvent than uh, when they fold in three dimension structure right but the answer is no we can find uh, the, the interaction of the solvent molecules are same in case of uh, the primary which is the unfolded state and the folded state of the protein now the folded state of the protein will interact suppose with uh, 200 water molecules in, in their environment and if we giving the same environment and unfold the protein this unfolded state of the protein is again going to interact with the 200 uh, molecule of the water molecule of water okay so that is actually the basic concept so that doesn't mean about the folding and unfolding so if we change the folding fold, uh, folded protein to unfolded state we can find the same amount of interaction with the solvent molecules that that never varies that never changes uh, depending upon the changing of uh, the uh, changing of the st state of the protein okay so that is the